All right, hi guys, this is Example, and this is the last in the Chicken Cube series I'm going to do, and this uh, chicken cook is a little bit different than the rest. It's using a hopper clock to um, buy the eggs into the central cauldron where the chickens get cooked instead of using a comparator checking to testing whether or not an egg has dropped through the system. Uh, that is problematic in itself because we've got a clock now that we need to turn on and off. So let's turn this on quickly and let's have a look. Alright, right now some eggs are getting fired through to the central, central cauldron there. You can see our clock uh, ticking over. Uh, but once the, once the eggs have finished dispensing, the clock keeps going, so that's the most annoying thing about this design. However, we've got a switch so we can turn it off. So if we are busy, we can turn it on and we can go off and do our thing. And then when we're ready to come back, we can get our cooked chicken. And when we leave, we can turn it off, so that's all good. So how this works is we've got uh, chicken sitting in this cauldron, the eggs drop down into this hopper, through this hopper, into this dropper which then forces the eggs up into this dropper, which is, ends up in this dispenser, and the dispenser fires the eggs into the cauldron in the center. That's it, pretty simple. Uh, when they grow up, they get cooked, and their drops fall into here. So, to build this design, you're gonna need two dispensers, two droppers, 10 blocks of your choice, one steer, uh, one comparator, one bucket of lava, six hoppers, one chest, two levers, and uh, two cauldrons. Let's have a look at this layer by layer. We've got a chest, our collection chest. We've got two hoppers which are facing into that chest. We've got uh, two hoppers facing to this dropper and three solid blocks. Then on the next level we've got a uh, cauldron here which is the, the eggs, uh, the chickens sit in here laying eggs. We've got a, another cauldron in the center here. And we've got a dispenser firing into that cauldron. And we've got another dropper facing into this dispenser. We've got our hopper clock here with our comparator, which fires a signal into these uh, droppers and dispensers. Our last layer, we've got a dispenser facing down into the cauldron here. And that's so we can get our, e our chickens easily into that cauldron uh, without losing any. And also caps off the cauldron so they don't jump out if they do and a few blocks around the top and our switch so let's go ahead and build this thing first of all we're going to place down our chest like let's put it in the right place there uh we've got two hoppers facing into that chest like nope like this uh, we've got a dropper which is facing upwards and we've got two hoppers facing into no into not on top of into that dropper all right, and then we've got three solid blocks down the side, and we're on to our next level. Jump. Uh, so we're going to place down a cauldron here. Uh, we're going to place down a dropper facing towards us. We're going to place down a dispenser facing towards the center here. We're going to put a cauldron down in the middle. Uh, we're going to place our comparator right here, and then we're going to build a hopper clock. Uh, so we need to have these two hoppers facing in towards each other like that holding down shift so we can get them to work nice uh, and we're going to place a block here and not 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 forgetting our upside down stairs there we go now onto the last layer and it's nearly finished so we're going to place down uh, solid blocks all the way around here and here so then we're going to place our last dispenser Facing down like this, and uh, our switch like so. Right, uh, the only last thing we need to do is put some kind of item into here to have our clock work. There we go, and some lava. Let's see, you know, we've already got some lava, don't we? We've got some lava, we do. And that finishes off this cooker. Right, so let's go on to how do we get our chickens in here. Um, I just placed the lever on here and then filled up the dispenser, like so. We'll just turn that off for now. And then just hold down the right click and fill up your cauldron. And these are going to be your seed chickens, so they're going to lay eggs for us. That's going to take some time. Uh, but if you, fill the, if you fill this thing up, then you're likely to get... 18 
chickens. 18 to 20 chickens. And that's probably all you're going to need. This also is really good because it's a neat way to refill uh, if your chickens do manage to glitch out. Which uh, will happen, it's Minecraft, it happens sometimes. And yeah, so there we go, it's pretty much, it's pretty simple. Uh, once you're done you can remove that and turn on your unit, walk away, come back. Right, so over here we've got this one here which has been running for a while and you'll be finding that the cooked chicken end up out the back here. Now this is what, um, this is the main flaw of the system and like it's, it's a shame that uh, we can't get this comparator to go anywhere else, um, like up here for example, because the chicken try to find the easiest way out of the cauldron and it just so happens that it shoots out the side. If this is built onto a wall for example, and there's a block here, then this unit is going to work fine and you're not going to lose anything, all, all the drops are going to end up in, the, in this chest. So that's one thing, another thing to think about this design, uh, there's two two horrible things with it. One, it's very noisy. Um, and two, the drops fall out the back here. Uh, so you need need to put it into a wall which has got something, you know, covering that spot right there. Yep, that's it. So that's the last of these I'm going to do. Um, there should be a way to test whether or not um, there is items in this dispenser and if there is then turn the clock on. Um, that'll be something for one of you guys to sort of come up with, uh, so I'm going to leave that with you. But yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that. This is going to be the last one of these I do. Um, there's different variations, there's a whole heap of them here. We've, we've done so many different designs and they all fit within the 3x3x3. This one's a little cheaty. <laughs> it's uh, using half slabs on the bottom and half slabs on the top. And the lava puts it over the, the 3x3x3, so yeah, anyway, just thought I'll show you that one. Uh, this one here has got a different kind of clock. It's just a um, redstone clock, and it's pretty much working on the same principle as this one anyway. So, yeah, up to you which one you choose. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed that. This is an example, and this is the chicken cube um, with a hopper timer. And so I hope you've enjoyed that, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.